Uh, very good evening uh, to all our viewers and uh, welcome to Monday's edition of uh, the Evening Review. My name is Toivon Jabela, your host. Tonight on the show we are joined by Andre Kompion. He is uh, the Managing Director of Fly Namibia and uh, we are just here to catch up with uh, what is the latest of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the airline. Uh, thank you Andre for making time. It's my pleasure. Y yeah. Thank you Toivon. Wonderful. You, 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 your company took over in a very difficult period uh, in the advent of uh, COVID-19, but uh, seemingly you have consolidated your operations, you have, uh, you know, sort of consolidated your identity also, um, and, and so much has, has happened since then. Um, how, how is it going? It's going well. It's a, it's, a, it's a very difficult industry that we're in. Yeah. It's very capital intensive. Uh, COVID is no favorite, but um, mm. it's going well. We're concentrating on, on a lot of training at the moment. Yeah. Um, we are moving through our partnership with, with Airlink. We are moving onto the global distribution system uh, through which we will sell our tickets, mm -hmm. which will make a huge difference. Yeah. So at the moment, we're in the preparatory phase of that. We hope to um, complete that by the end of January, somewhere in February. Um, like I said, we're doing a lot of recruitment and, and training at the moment, mm -hmm. and we're really gearing up for, for what we envisage achieving next year. Okay. So, currently, wh wh where do you operate? I mean, I know that uh, locally you, uh, you are flying to many des destinations, uh, but uh, are you in the regions for now? Do you do um, international flights? Um, we do regional flights, okay. and we will remain a, a regional and domestic feeder airline. Um, regionally, we're flying to Cape Town at the moment. We've applied for the rights to fly between Cape Town and Valvers Bay, which we hope to, to be able to do quite soon. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from, from the 1st of March, we will flying, we'll be flying to Johannesburg twice a day. We also, during the second quarter of, of next year, envisage flying to Maan, Big Falls and Luanda. Okay. Mm. And, and locally? Locally, we've got two services. We've got the normal scheduled passenger services, which mm -hmm. we're flying to Uraniamund, Luderitz, Walfus Bay, which is a new service. Uh, then we're flying to Ondangwa, Rundu, and Katima. Mm -hmm. um, then we also have what we call the safari route, which is focused on, on, on tourism. It's a flight that departs from Oziakutaku to the Sources Fly Sesrim area, uh, and then from there via the coast, Swakopmund, up to the Itosha area, to the lodges there, offers mm -hmm. a daily link mm -hmm. uh, specifically for tourists between the lodges. Wonderful. Um, uh, how, how's the uptake, especially locally? Um, what, what we've learned uh, from COVID, if anything, is that uh, we couldn't rely as a country a lot on foreign visitors and foreign tourism. Uh, I think the silver lining of that whole pandemic in terms of tourism and travel was uh, seeing more Namibians wanting to go to places. Um, how are your domestic uh, flights doing? Domestic flights are doing surprisingly well. Um, there's been domestic services for many, many decades in the country. Um, and I must say I'm quite surprised by, by the number of passengers that we're moving. Uh, I think one of the big benefits is that the bulk of our domestic services are being done in jet aircraft. Yeah. Um, obviously pressurized aircraft. It's a lot more comfortable than what things used to be in the past. So flights like, like Ondangwa and Katima Murilu are very full uh, with virtually every flight. Uh, Valvis Bay is picking up nicely now. So uh, as far as domestic travel is concerned, the majority of that remains business travel. Mm -hmm. um, apart from the specialized tourism safari route, like I've mentioned to you. Yeah. Uh, the one thing with tourism, if you want to get into, into a, 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 a overseas operator's itinerary, uh, it takes about two years. Yeah. So with the products that, that we've launched, we anticipate you know, the products maturing in about 18 months from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, w there's um, a lot of operators in the, in the Namibian airspace. Um, I know that there were some airlines that sort of withdrew their operations a little bit, I think, due to COVID, but some of them have since returned. Mm, how are you keeping up with that competition, especially from more established uh, brands? We are the only scheduled passenger operator within them a domestic operator. Mm -hmm. uh, there are obviously a lot of non-scheduled operators, but we're the only operator where you can buy a ticket through a travel agent and, and, and book a seat with us. 
uh, in that regard, we don't have any competition in the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and I suppose then your other airlines are not, you're not on those routes, so also there you don't have a competition, you're not involved in that competition either. Our, our, our business model is based on, on, on connectivity. Yeah. We want to, to feed into larger airlines and, and feed off them. Um, and that's what we're trying to create here. So we're not concerned about any international operator coming to the country. As a matter of fact, we're trying our level best to get more operators to come in mm -hmm. because we want to do the low in distribution of those passengers, yeah. um, both domestically and, and regionally. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me, Andre, a bit of background to the... What is the history of, of Fly Namibia? Because there seems to be a lot of you know, conspiracies and all these things, you know, people are linking you to this or that, but if you can give us a bit of background as to where, where this company came from and is it a truly Namibian company? Of course, we know that there's uh, now a shareholding from Airlink of South Africa, but prior to that. Fly Namibia started off as Fly Westy. Yeah. Uh, the, the shareholders in Fly Westy are the same people that are still involved today apart from the fact that three different shareholders um, joined the company when, after Fly Namibia was formed. Mm -hmm. um, those three additional shareholders are myself, Mr. Philip Ellis, and then obviously Airlink with a 40% stake. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the other current shareholders are the guys who started Fly Namibia. They're all involved directly in the operation. Um, and they took up shares rights from the outset. So the, the conspiracies that you, you refer to, I've heard them. It's mm. simply not not the case. Yeah. So the first lady right now, sh she's no longer not involved? Not at all. Yeah. There is, there is no involvement. Wonderful. The, the, um, so, so what is the strategic importance in your view of having Airlink on board? I think it's a, bi a bold move there. Airlink is the, the second biggest airline in Africa. Um, they are very successful. They've always been successful from the outset. Um, they, they have a critical mass, a size, which is competitive to nothing else in the sub-region. Uh, they currently operate 63 aircraft. Um, they do in excess of 250 routes per day. They carry more than 8,000 passengers per day. Um, and they've achieved that, they've built that business being a totally private entity. Um, and they were up against very stiff competition from subsidized government-owned airlines. Mm. So their track record to me um, was, 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 was undoubtedly one that I wanted to be associated with. Uh, and we've decided to approach them to become part of, of a flying Namibia for a couple of reasons. Firstly, they obviously bring significant capital to, to our business, which we need in this expansion phase. Mm. But secondly, they bring the critical mass in sense of the distribution channels that they have, uh, their interline agreements and their coach agreements that they have with, with most carriers worldwide. Mm. Um, they bring that feed. And for us to develop a, a distribution system similar to that would have taken us decades. Mm. It took mm. them 30 years to develop this. So we can now go from a very small privately owned independent airline to someone being linked into a very well established global system mm. almost overnight. And that was the most important reason why we decided to, to, to bring them on board. However, they remain a minority shareholder without any control in the airline. Yeah. Uh, they made a strategic investment. Uh, they will add a lot of value, but Fly Namibia will, will remain independent privately owned Namibian carrier. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very good thing actually because um, obviously everybody, I mean there's always that pride, especially when you fly with the name of the country. Yeah. Uh, you, you want to remain as, as Namibian as you can be. But um, I, I suppose uh, the future will also dictate a lot of things. But it's a good commitment, at least from you, to say, look, uh, uh, despite what might happen in the future, we still want to remain a, a truly Namibian uh, entity. Because I'm thinking, for example, in the future, if uh, Erling wants to increase their stake in the company. It's not possible. Um, our legislation requires a Namibian carrier 
to be majority Namibian owned and Namibia controlled. Mm -hmm. So so us losing our Namibian character is simply not going to happen. Yeah. Um, it's very good to have someone with a with a muscle uh, involved, such as Eerlink, but uh, the concern that that there is a takeover of, of flying a mobile, or that it may happen in future, is, is, is simply devout of any truth. It can't happen. Yeah, yeah. What is, um, what is the size of your operations in terms of maybe your, your fleet? Um, you, you refer to yourself as, as being a, a small Namibian operator that has brought a very big operator on board and therefore as, as part of the expansion. But, but as, as Meta stand now, how many, how many planes, planes for, for example, do you operate? At the moment, we've got three Embraer 145 jets, 50-seater jets. Um, within the next two weeks, two more aircraft will arrive in the country. Um, we hope by next year, March, to have five Embraer jets operating regionally. Um, we also operate Beechcraft 1900 uh, aircraft, turboprop aircraft, which are, are pressurized 18 passenger seaters. Mm -hmm. uh, we operate them on sun routes and then on the, on, the, on the tourism routes, on the safari route, we make use of, of Cessna 406s, which can carry 12 passengers, but which is a, it's a twin engine turboprop. Okay. Uh, there we have a couple of aircraft on that route as well. Wonderful. We go for a quick break and uh, return with Andre uh, in the second half. The Regional Review brings you news, views and interviews from NMH correspondents from across the country. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact regional at synergy.com.na. Sunset News is a daily news show focusing on national headlines as well as international news. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, please contact sunset at synergy.com.na. Sunset News. Don't end your day without us. The show continues. Um, now, Andre, the, I mean, the travel industry is so much uh, linked to our tourism industry. And uh, part of the reason why, um, why Air Namibia, for example, was kept in the, in the skies for too long was on that argument that is so important to this industry. Um, what do you think of uh, Fly Namibia's importance to the, to the domestic tourism industry? Well, I think our importance goes beyond just the tourism industry. Yeah. Um, it's, it's simply impossible for any economy nowadays, and especially in a, in a country the size of Namibia, with such long distances um, between our various towns, to develop without air connectivity. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we believe that we're going to play a very important role as far as tourism is concerned on the one aspect that we focus on, but also on business travel in the country. Yeah. Um, it's simply impossible to, to, to do business in Ondangwa or Katima or Rundu or Oranjemund by car unless you prepare to waste a lot of time. Yeah. So uh, I, I really think that's by establishing a, 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 a reliable daily route network domestically, we're going to contribute hugely. Yeah. That on the one end. On the other hand, uh, Fly Namibia is making a significant economical investment in the country. Yeah. Um, you know, we 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 always run after after foreigners to come and invest in our country, but the investment here represents something significant, which is being done partly by Namibians and and, and partly by our South African counterpart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I saw that one of the first things that you did also, once you rebranded and everything. Uh, was also to be the official flight partner of uh, the Namibia Football Association. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? Well, obviously, sport is very close to our hearts. 
and uh, we've got a social responsibility as any any responsible corporate citizen in the country. So um, we're supporting Namibian uh, soccer and we're supporting Namibian cricket at this stage, where we are the, the official carriers of, of both the sports. Mm -hmm. um, we've just we've just done a flight for for um, the soccer team to Luanda, mm -hmm. which is a significant contribution, and similarly so with with uh, with the cricket team. Yeah, um, we we the official carrier. Well, what, what does official career mean um, for, for an ordinary man like myself? What does it mean? We get the rights to, to use their brand um, and vice versa uh, to transport them to, to big events um, where they travel as a, as a team together with us. Is it a discount and or how does it work? Yeah, yeah, it's a okay. significant discount. Okay, wonderful. The, the it, yeah, so the... Um, uh, again, r related to to the size of the company, I mean, the workforce, I mean, one of the, the contributions, of course, is also employing Namibians. Um, well, what is your staff complement? We're in a very, very fortunate position that, that through our partners, we've got most of the ancillary services already in place, um, which we make use of. Yeah. So in, in Fly Namibia itself, at the moment, we've got 52 employees, which are basically all of them operational staff. Mm -hmm. uh, we outsource our maintenance, we outsource our HR functions, all to, to our partners in the business. So many of those functions are being performed by Westair. Our training function is performed by a sister company, Cigna Aviation. Um, a lot of the training in South Africa happens with, with Airlink, which is now also part of us. Mm -hmm. But the, what, we, what we really determined to do is to upskill Namibians, train Namibians and employ Namibians and retain their services in the, in the company. Mm -hmm. So. Um, those will be basically operational. It will be it will be pilots. It will be cabin crew, and and then also on the maintenance side, um, we're focusing a lot on on their training and their employment at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The the um, um, and I'm, I'm I'm forgetting my question. I had a very good question there. Um, yeah, yeah. So the the plans around. As a stakeholder, when you hear the plans around the expansion of the airport, or even building a new one uh, that has also been contemplated, well, wh what will that what will that do to a company like yours? Like I said previously, our focus is on on feeding onto big aircraft and and and, and de feeding off them. Yeah. So to 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 make Namibia an a, a attractive destination for foreign carriers, for large carriers to come in. Um, the most important aspect really goes around the, the, the attractiveness of, of our international airport, of Uziakutaka. Mm -hmm. And the number one determinant of attractiveness is connectivity. So no foreign airline will want to fly into Wintuk if there aren't any passengers for them to pick up. Yeah, yeah. You know. So um, what we're trying to establish is, uh, is, a, is a very strong regional and domestic feed and de-feed of the international carriers. Mm -hmm. And for that, we need the international carriers to come into the country. Mm -hmm. um, we've fortunately seen with Eurowings, they're already putting 10 flights a week into, into Zyakotaku. Um, and I've, I've, I'm excited about, about major developments at, at the airport, mm -hmm. which will really be a game changer for our country mm -hmm. um, as far as, 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 as the influx of tourism is concerned. Yeah. So do you, as part of your long-term plan, uh, and yeah, strategic plan, do you want to remain a regional and domestic uh, operator, or maybe Africa at some stage? Or, I mean, because that, is, that can also be a model on its own, that we strictly just stick to that. Uh, or would you let circumstances dictate in the future whether you could go elsewhere? Going elsewhere will, 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 will never entail wide-body aircraft. We will not fly internationally in the sense from flying from here to Europe or, or elsewhere. Mm. Um, I think that our industry has developed to the point whereby you must, you must focus on what you can do well. Uh -huh. And the, the major international carriers have, have established themselves to try and go ahead on with them will be financial suicide and we will never endeavor to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we will, however, expand regionally and domestically as far as there's a business case for it. Absolutely.
Andre, I think uh, you've done justice to the conversation. <laughs> we would uh, like to thank you for making time, but uh, we will continue to invite you for as long as we see that there are new movements within Fly in Namibia, but uh, thanks a lot for your time. You're very welcome. Thank yeah. you, Togo. Yeah, sure. That's uh, Andre Compion. He's uh, the MD of uh, Fly in Namibia, just uh, giving us a little bit of uh, update on what's happening at the company. Thank you for watching. The Evening Review is a daily interview-based talk show that dissects and expounds on current affairs as they occur in Namibia. The show aims at reaching Namibians of all age groups who seek better understanding of the state of current affairs in the country. This show is broadcasted on NTV, oneup2.com and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms, Namibian Sun and Namibia Media Holdings. The Evening Review focuses on interviews, latest news and up-to-the-minute current events. Contact evening at synergy.com.na Evening Review Unpacking today's pertinent issues. Take a load off and tune into another episode of Brave Namibia as we take a look at both ordinary and extraordinary Namibians. Brave Namibia is broadcasted on NTV Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. and oneup2.com as well as broadcasted on the following Facebook platforms on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Republicane, Algamina Titan, Namibian Sun and all Namibia Media Holdings pages. For more information, contact the Brave team at brave at synergy.com.na Brave Namibia for the ordinary and extraordinary Namibians. In Business 7, you get news on current economic, financial and business matters in Namibia. The weekly show features interviews with experts and in-depth analysis of burning issues in a way that caters for ordinary Namibians and business connoisseurs alike. For news-related or advertising queries, please contact b7 at synergy.com.na. My.na Property Show provides viewers with the best in-class content, engaging interviews as well as a showcase of the latest property-related products and services. If you would like to feature your brand, or your campaign on this platform, contact my.na at synergy.com.na. My.na properties, more than just a roof over your head. Tourismus Namibia is a weekly tourism show that brings you the latest news in the tourism industry and topics related to that. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact tourismus at synergy.com.na for news and advertising related queries. Tourismus, bring the world to Namibia. Three, two, one. Here we go! We Talk brings you community news that lies at the heart of Vindic residents. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact wetalk at synergy.com.na. You live, we talk.